I am Christopher Damari, Senior National Account Manager with Barrett Medical. We are often asked, how do you switch from left-handed to right-handed or vice versa? So here's a video showing you that. Right now, it's set up for a left-handed person. So if you imagine, this is what it would look like. So the way I like to show this is, if you think of this as the shoulder, this is the elbow, and this is the wrist, when it's set up for a left-handed person, it should look like this. So if we want to have it set up for a right-handed person, it should look like this. So the first step we do is we start at the shoulder, which is simple, we just do this, we just slide it over. The next step, and this is the crucial step, is we go to the elbow. And often this is where people get messed up. They try to twist it and they get confused. Well, really what you need to do is more drastic. You have to pull up the lever here, flip this over. So you essentially have to dislocate the elbow, however you want to think of it. And you know you're doing something right because this will turn yellow, this will freeze up, and you'll get an error message on the screen here. You can get rid of the error message by using the mouse or just the enter button on the remote. Now that I've done that, this is loosened up again, and this is no longer yellow, this, this piece is now white again. So we've done the shoulder, we've done the elbow. Next is the wrist. So we have another lever right here. So if I pull this out, and then I rotate this around, and I like to have the uh, forearm piece just, just slightly hover above the, uh, the arm, we lock it back up. It is now ready for the right-handed person. The one thing we're missing is uh, this piece right here, which I like to, you just slide it like so, which should, should kind of be like a ski jump, it goes down and then back up. One final thing is when you switch these from left-handed to right-handed, when you're using this lever here at the, at the elbow, you might want to tighten it every once in a while. This is like a screw right here, just hold it and tighten it. Because over time that'll get loose and if the patient's using it, it'll, it'll come out and you'll get that yellow error message. But that's it. And the final thing is, okay, so now this is set up for a right-handed person, like so. But if you're ever confused how it is set up, there's an LED screen down here which does explain, uh, display which handedness it is. Thank you very much.